Hey, Sagi baby, what's the deal? Sorry about that. I recorded earlier, but my phone was acting up. Okay, so we have the two of swords came in verse. So nothing's blocked out of your reality, right? Lies have been exposed. You know what this person was hiding, that they a bum, that they don't take care of their kids properly, or that they're moving from pillar to post, private port to private port, or that they're only with someone because they have nowhere else to go. Or they move into relationships really quick and they're steady making mistakes. Or that they're really not happy where they are. They're probably going back and forth uh, sofa surfing. Going from friend houses and then sometimes they might stay at a chick or a man house and they go back to their little hole or wherever they from. But the thing is, it's kind of like this person is refusing to put things to a debt. Or to have a transformation. And it's like if this is a Scorpio Taurus energy. They jobs Scorpio is usually changing people's lives. And making them realize the bad in them. Where Sagittarius we bring out the good in people. Scorpio is 8 you 9. Okay. So it's kind of like y'all kind of work as a team. But y'all slaying in different ways right you bringing out the best they bring out the worst so if a scorpio approach you you better ask yourself where you're fucking up in life because they damn sure will bring it out but you see this person is not doing that and instead of this person get their lives together they rather blame or play victim or uh hide or ghost people that are that do have their shit together People that can help them. They feel more comfortable with people like them. So 9 out of 10, this person went to someone they thought was dumber than you. Someone they don't mind looking stupid in front of. Someone they don't mind begging for money or making them give them money. Maybe putting up with shit you been, they would have never came at you with. So like I said, instead of this person make themselves better, they rather talk down on people like us, stir stir up rumors, or think we owe them fucking something. Because you guys are not dumb. You should already know. I shouldn't have to know shit because I'm not your mama and I'm not your daddy and you're a grown ass man or woman. And what were you doing before I got here? Or before, you know, for some of y'all, y'all, this person wants to restart another cycle with you. Or you've always had one foot in, one foot out. That's why this person cannot cannot affect you as much if as if you were someone that stayed. And for you once that stayed, 9 out of 10, most likely this person went to someone that they could play games with. Because they're not feeling stagnant. They're not in regret about the love they choice they made. And are you prepared to receive or give a love offer? That's where they is. They want to, uh, well, we have like, say, for instance, this came in reverse. What is closed off or being blocked out of your reality? That this person wants to give or receive a love offer from you. But this came in reverse. So you probably know this person wants to give you a love offer. Say this didn't come in reverse. So they still don't want to push shit to an end. So you had to do it because they wasn't going through a transformation. And maybe you have them feeling in regret. Because you might not be feeling stagnant. Because these are the first three cards. Where they're at, they trying to protect their money with their full protection. They're not using their intuition or being very creative. That's why they have no new beginnings. With this what? Water is the opposite of earth energy. This is earth. This is water. The green. Dark green. So this Knight of Cups. If we turn it around... What situation in your life are you still holding on to? They're still holding on to shit. Well, uh, what are you prepared to learn from this love connection? They're not learning from the connection they're in. But they're in regret. 
But the reason why to me it came in reverse out of stagnation is because you had to do it for them. This person is not a leader. They're not a good uh, father, mother figure. They're not a good business um, man or woman. They don't know how to make decisions. And that's probably quite fucking obvious. Yes, this person's thinking of their options. Seven and they trying to get lucky. Eight. We got twelve. They trying to bring balance and harmony. What situation in your life is bringing you variety of choices? Let's see. Tower moment, huh? What else is sixteen? encouragement and support so that's what they looking for through these options that they're not getting they looking for some kind of balance <laughs> they reflecting love trying to come off like they're not in regret and you know the secrets and you're using your intuition that's why these readers were getting on my nerves and i'm just tired of all this pacifying shit So this person over there trying to reflect love to someone, they have many options and they're going to hit a time moment and they probably already have. And you know that, you know, that's probably why this person ghosts you or not talking to you because they were trying to use you and get something out of you because you're not as dumb as they need you to be. And then they went to a dummy, someone that's dumber than them and think they're going to get some kind of encouragement and support child. Let's keep going. We're going to double stack today on what these people need to ask themselves. Yes. What situation in your life are you ready to invest your time and energy into? Yeah, you have clarity that you need to move on. Nothing's blocked out of your reality. I think what's blocked out of your reality is that you uh, need to start spending time and energy somewhere else to get lucky with that seven of pentacles. Yeah, they over there arguing about money or something with these people. That's why things are coming to a dead. Huh? Let's keep going. What they not regret about? Um, why are they? Why are, you don't have them stagnant, or you're not stagnant no more? Yeah, they can't see the bright side of things, and neither can you. But you're doing what the universe asked you to. That's why. Things are not stagnant. You're taking the feelings the universe wants you to have. Not looking for your happiness within this person. So let's see. Knight of Cups. So now they thinking with this. <laughs> they in the earth energy. Water earth. They want to spend their time and energy somewhere else now. After they've been giving out love offers to different people. That don't want it probably. But let's keep going. They're trying to protect their money. So they probably left someone because of money issues or got dumped because they don't want to get a real job or get a job or stop being a dope dealer or um, stop giving to this other person because they're selfish. They probably tried to slack and live off them a little more easy overdoing it. Yeah. What situation in your life are you still holding value to? This is you. You holding value to hope. Sunny days. Everybody loves them. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? That's what I just got. Okay, and then we got the lovers. <laughs> they feeling trapped. But this came in reverse. Are you ready to be recognized for all your effort and achievements? They don't have no effort and achievements. Or maybe that's what you're not ready to be recognized for. After you have learned from this love connection. Sorry, y'all. After you've learned from this love connection, you're really not ready. 
are to me you already sorry to show maybe with the reason why six came out six is reflection reflection is because you might not you might not be done you might be getting started or haven't gotten to the date yet or when you're going to go or do it but it's coming for you so what this Scorpio Taurus is doing or this water earth energy is doing with this option they want to return to their faith remember they in regret and they can't see the bright side of things and to me rather this card this sun card came these both came in reverse now so they couldn't see this bright side of things they wasn't doing what the universe wanted and now that the stagnation is over with this four cups and they're coming in they came in reverse but now they upright because the universe wants them to go through stagnation the using the, the get out of stagnation the universe wants them to uh, not be in regret but accept this offer that same cup they should have gave you So it could be them. This could be their energy when it comes to their relationships with that Libra energy. They're off balance. But they know now what is blocked out of their reality. Yeah. So they thought they were in reality with these options. But now they're out of reality. So putting a debt to whoever, wherever they want to spend their time and energy... It's coming up. That's why this power moment is out here. It's coming. Excuse me. This was your energy. I skipped the card on accident. That's why this came out. Because you are ready to put your efforts and hard work out. Damn it, I mixed them up. It's all good. Yeah. So, this person is looking at you like a star. You see how he kind of looking back? And you looking down, pouring shit out? Your feelings, huh, that water? Because you ready to get on to what means more to you. Or show what you put your efforts into. Yeah, you, if you ain't cadillac -y, you putting your guard up and ready to use your intuition to reflect what's deep within your meanings with them ones. Are you ready to rec be recognized for your effort and hard work and achievements? Six. Are you ready to reflect love with that six? Proud community, what the fuck is up? Pride. I'll be saying proud. This is dyslexic. So, with this popped out, because I skipped this card. That's why it was out of order. So, this person, uh, what is uh, closed out and blocked out of your reality, that you're going to be successful with what you're doing. To me, you're going to be having a lot of options. While this person catching the time moment, but... Uh, because they've been going from person to person. They've been fighting about money. So they either getting dumped behind money or nobody wants them because they have no fucking money. Or they hide it then they find out and their asses get dumped. Or they're not willing to put in as much as their equal side is. They looking for someone that's stupid, stupid. Yeah. What did I say? With these third parties, they looking for options. Huh? They've been celebrating and having a good time drinking and doing drugs with these people. What are you ready to celebrate and enjoy? Huh? So we just added three. We had 12 cups. Yeah, 13 cups. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Wait a minute. One, that's nine. 13, I mean 12. Yeah, that's 12. But I thought we had 12 earlier. 
We had 13, sorry. We had 7. 11, 12. Yeah, that's 12, sorry. I had it right the first time. I thought we was adding some cups. But either way, because we got 3 cups, we're just going to pass that up. But either way, 12, 13 cups, okay. 12 cups is balance and harmony. Growth. That's what they going to these people looking for. So they want to show you and get somebody else. They think they still can replace you. Yeah. Some supervisor or boss man at your job probably about to catch a tire moment. And if it's not a supervisor or somebody that's comparing their lives to yours, ideas are you ready to imply to others? Yeah, they must be doing it secretly. Or they probably was talking shit about you. Are gradually pulling, uh, bringing your name up, and when you got rid of their stagnation with their monkey asses and let they go, they probably just kept their fucking mouth closed because they didn't have enough information to play with you. So once again, boo, I skipped the card. Don't pay me no mind. But yeah, they reflecting love to third parties. And you could be keeping your mouth closed. Because this person that thought they have options. Or maybe you could be keeping your mouth closed because you have options. And with that options you have, you're going to give this person a time moment. This is not a water energy sign. But this is a water, I mean fire air sign, right? And we got water and earth here. You about to get them the blues, whoever this person is that's watching you. Yes, you about to get these hoes the blues. You about to give it to them. Shit, they might be just on your tip because you have a broadcast. You have your life going on. You got a good relationship with your kids. You might, excuse me, have a nice pet or something that they can brag on you about. But you really about to spit on their face. Because you're keeping it a secret and you're using your intuition. you out of stagnation. You're looking at the bright side, prosperity, growth, that sun car. You're reflecting love and you learn from the connection. You've probably been celebrating, maybe just drinking a little wine or something. Getting a little high, whatever it is. Going out to eat. Treating yourself. What situation in your life no longer holds value? That's what you're keeping the secret. Oh, that's what you're using your intuition for. It could also be the job. Okay. Let's get some cosmic insight. I got home late today, but I'm not going to complain. It's not like I always get home late. My release didn't come, which they did know that already. And then the supervisor going to try to play stupid. Like he didn't know who it was. Yeah, right. If you, How you know what happened, but they didn't tell you the name of who you need to go release. Release from work. Relief, whatever. Let go home from work. People are so stupid. And, you know, we got to keep in mind that, and this is what came to me with his super stupid ass, that people are not, my intuition kicked in, people are not playing stupid. They're not playing crazy. They are stupid. They are crazy. That's what we need to do. You probably thought this person had childhood trauma. Okay. But that's no reason to be acting crazy and acting stupid and acting like an immature ass kid. And it's like, you can tell these people you're psychic. You can tell them that you help people. But they so fucking dumb. I guess they don't know how to be honest. So keep in mind that when people lie to you, they also lie to themselves. So you don't get your heart broken or your feelings in it. Yeah, date night. Somebody emotionally distanced from you. Or live at a distance. Could be both. 
You have air energy in reverse. Air or air uh, fire energy in reverse. So this is probably somebody from your a uh, Sagittarius from your ex that you do not like. An air Sagittarius energy you used to date that don't stand a chance. A supervisor or boss that does not stand a chance. Let that resonate. Don't have to be with the job. Yeah, date night. Huh, you gonna let that go. Make room for new beginning on the way to you now. So I guess dating is your new beginning. Or are you letting go of these people that want to date you? Yeah. Whoever is emotionally distanced from you. Or live at a distance from you. They're not letting anybody come through this. Between this bullshit. Just because they not happy where they are. Or they stop stagnation. You still moved on. This person probably moving too slow. And it's not even about you moving too slow. So you got an air fire sign. That has a problem with their sexuality. Or. The communication is coming in reverse with the air, which means communication, because this person has, is confused about, confused about their sexuality. That's probably why they'd rather go somewhere else and start a new cycle and start dating again. <clears throat> That's why nobody's coming between this, because they don't want a man or a woman. They don't know what they want. Or it could be an air sign. Yeah, date night. Uh, letting go, making room for a new beginning. So this person's making a room with a new beginning by going on dates with no commitments. So you could be not communicating with this air. Because you know they're confused about their sexuality. That could be you not talking, communicating. Yeah. Whoever is emotionally distanced from you, not letting nobody else come between y'all, they're not a narcissist. Review everything. Communication issues. What did I say? That's why the air is coming in reverse. Gemini, the opposite of you. Gemini, the sign of communication. Aries, Aquarius, I mean, Aquarius is the sign of dominant communication, gossiping, preaching, and then we got Libra, the sign of balancing communication with relationships. So, if we were to take this date, somebody a distance from you, from an air energy, which could be you or this could be an air energy, whatever you're dealing with, let it resonate. Someone that's trying to start a new beginning by letting go. If we put them up right, they are letting people get in between this. Whether they know their sexuality or not. Yeah, they want to commit to a narcissist. But they have communication issues. What else is new? And also keep in mind that narcissists not only have problems with their sexuality... Because they have no identity. So to me, it's not that they have a problem with their sexuality. They don't know who the fuck they are. That's why they can't go to the proud or the straight community. Also know that uh, they lie to themselves. They lie to other people. That's why it's easy for them to live in the bullshit they do. But at the end of the day, friend, always keep in mind that narcissists are constantly playing victim and they constantly have problems. Like you never solve problems with the narcissist. Once you think you're solving one problem, they're going to come up with another one. They like problems. They like to complain. They're not comfortable with shit going smooth. So they probably get off on knowing that they don't know their sexuality and letting someone else come between this and looking for other places to start new beginnings. So this could be also your new person that's distance and emotional distance from you that's not letting someone come in between this and they're not a narcissist while you got 
someone you can't communicate to or an air sign that's confused about their sexuality. That's why there's communication issues. And somebody going on a date trying some new shit, but they looking for commitment. And then you got some of these people that's not looking for commitment. That's why it's coming in reverse. Might as well read it up in right because it's just giving me more information. It really doesn't matter. But it just gave me a lot more information, right? So let's break this down with the spiritual romance angels. I went to sleep late the other day. You want to energy read me? They tune me dollars in the description box and community board for my email. Or if you just cash out me or PayPal me twenty dollars with your number on it, I'll contact you soon to schedule an apartment. Or I probably can do it right then and there. Just depends. Oh, let's put that new love came out, but I don't know which way it was popping out. Let's see. I would have went to the new club. Passion came in reverse. So new love must have came upside down. So we're going to keep it upside down. There's no passion. You don't have any more. Passion means understanding. You don't care to understand no more than you've already tried to or that you do understand. So this person probably not out dating men. Or maybe they have been in jail or been in prison or been molested or had some kind of interaction where they like men or women. But um, they could be hiding it with other opposite sex while they dipping and dabbling or just having a crush or something of the same sex. Or they probably do sneak off every blue moon or looking on dating apps, uh, Jack. <laughs> Worth the weight came in reverse. No passion is not worth the weight. Huh. I hope this really helped you because all that other shit. Yeah, they going towards unrequired love, child. What did I tell you? Yeah, there will be no wedding. There is no passion. Work the weight. Make the effort. <laughs> you be damned if you do. You're not making any effort. Unrequired love is what they looking for. Because they don't know their sexuality. And they're not attracted to these people either. What did I tell you? They don't know if they want to be in the LGBTQ community or not. Your yeah, trust. Have faith. Keep your head up. I'm proud of you for even letting this jerk go. Stay optimistic about your love life. Came in reverse. So some of y'all not staying optimistic about your love life. That's probably why trust came out here. Yeah, somebody's wearing the mask. <laughs> they wearing the mask all right. Probably catch this person coming out of the hotel with the same sex. Looking at their phone, got dating apps and all kind of shit with the same sex. Oh, all kind of people they just looking to use. So we turn these upright. We have passion. Someone that's going to understand you, work the way. There is not enough attraction in the chemistry. Yeah, this person's not attracted to you enough to get their shit together, to have this wedding. I'm putting them upright. So they have unrequired love. You attract romance by enjoying the moment fully. So they attracted to these people. They just want to enjoy the moment fully. They just want to have a bunch of one night stands and wear their mask. It's worth the wait to make the effort to stay optimistic about your love life. And trust that whoever have passion for you next will want to get married. And you can trust in your faith when it comes to that. In case y'all need to see. Married. Wedding. Passion.